Now, in addition to the warning on the LWR, we'll also get an audio warning as well. Now, the main uh, tanks in DCS can be quite deadly to a helicopter if you're within uh, 1.5 kilometers and you're either flying directly at them or flying very slowly or hovering uh, nearby. Okay. So we've got a warning there indicated by the lights uh, ahead of us and to the right, and both the hemisphere lights are on indicating that it's near equal altitude. And the lower upper right indicates that we're within range of that gun system. Now once an indication is made, it actually stays there until you clear the LWR. And this is a handy function to put on your HOTAS. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that. And now we see that we just have them to the right and behind us. So I'm going to go ahead here and fly to the left and put them directly behind me. Clear again. And at this point now they're actually out of range and they're not lazy me anymore. Now when you are lazed like this and you have the uh, warning indicating that they're within range, um, you definitely want to maneuver very quickly by either jinking or increasing or decreasing collective immediately to spoil the shot. Um, tactics of slowly moving towards um, the main battle tank um, within 1.5 is a good recipe to get shot down. <laughs> That's a little overview of the laser warning receiver. Uh, now we'll go ahead and take a look at the uh, UV-26 in action. And again, we see these tanks uh, lazy me here, but again, I'm giving them a good cross and target, so they're really not going to be able to hit me uh, with the way I'm flying right now. But you should also note that a lot of the tanks do have turret-mounted machine guns, and with um, when you're within range, they will engage you with those as well. Now, up here in front to the left, we have a linebacker. And we'll go ahead and bait him in to shots at us. Now, another handy function you may want to put in your HOTAS is the key to initiate the flare dispenser. Uh, indicated by the red button up here. So there's our linebacker down here. And just part of the missile, we're going to start releasing some flares. And we see the stinger got tracked off there. We fire another one. Oh, took a little hit there. And baited that one. And we can see in doing that, we only have eight flares now remaining on the uh, left wing. Looks so like we've got an overspeed warning here. Slow down. And also, you can see that our LWR is pretty well lit up, so I'm going to go ahead and reset that. Now, although not a flare to uh, defend yourself, the uh, Black Shark also does have signal flares. And you can take a look at these uh, down here. And we can go ahead and power this system up. And by hitting either the red, green, white, or yellow uh, buttons here, we can re re uh, release signal flares. And these can be handy when you're playing multiplayer and you want to give a visual signal to other members of your flight. So I'll go ahead and hit the, uh, the red button here. You see we have a red flare come out. Coming back. And we'll say do a yellow flare. 
So this has been a little overview again of the uh, defensive systems of the Black Shark, the LWR, and the UV-26. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this note and I'll see you next time.